a very good morning if those uh, if those opening shots don't give away where we are today um, we're, we're actually in Chesterfield and just as we arrive in Chesterfield it starts to rain <laughs> so today we're, we're gonna be uh, going down the Chesterfield Canal so it's the, the, the cuckoo way uh, uh, this is a, a path that we've explored on a couple of other videos we've actually done the missing section in the middle so four to six miles along Chesterfield Canal from here in Chesterfield where it starts to um, to the River Trent to West Stock with and uh, we're going to be looking at the first four or five miles today between here and Stavely. If this is your first time watching one of my videos it'd mean the world to me if you'd uh, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notifications when I upload new videos. So this is the official start of the Cuckoo Way. So a lot of regeneration weren't going up as we're leaving Chesterfield. Um, that bridge and those houses weren't there um, the last time I came, um, which I think was about 18 months ago. Um, so this area, I know all this to, uh, to the left hand side is earmarked for uh, the, the riverside area. It's all gonna be redeveloped. Uh, I remember coming as a child through Chesterfield on the train and the, the tree bore factory just over there and I always used to remember the smell of the sweets when you passed through. And this sign sums up quite nicely the, the, uh, the trip that we're making today from Chesterfield to Staveley. It's about four, or four to five miles. few quick facts before we do get going so the canal opened in uh, around 1777 so almost 250 years ago now um, fell into distant recline if you've watched some of my other videos you'll know about the Norwood tunnel uh, and the collapse of that um, this section that we're on now uh, was actually restored and reopened in around about 2002 I think it was um, but this section is completely cut off from the main canal network um, this section that we're walking on today it's just kind of a well it doesn't really go anywhere but they're trying to address that uh, and we'll discuss a little bit more about that as we get closer to uh, closer to Stavely. so it's around 10 miles from Chesterfield back to my house um, and I'm probably gonna kind of walk slash jog the first four or five miles just while we're looking at the canal and doing a bit of filming and then the remaining sort of five miles I'll be doing as a as a, as a proper run and it's uh, properly raining now as well John Vale the second, one of a few boats that we'll, we'll see on our trip today. So about a kilometre and a half in now, and we've coming up coming up to our first proper lock. It's a Tapton Lock and, uh, and visitor centre and uh, Tapton Tunnel as well. Just going to go through. resisting putting the waterproof coat on because it is quite warm and I think I'll get a wetter inside through sweat than I will I think I'll dry quite quick hopefully it's one of those milestones that we saw on the uh, on the other other sections like a wet dog now and um, so we're just sheltering for uh, for a minute just while this heavy shower passes so we're underneath uh, a railway bridge you can probably tell so if you've watched any of my other videos on kind of local railway explorers around the kind of southeast of Sheffield and Rother Valley this is quite a significant point this is the place where the Midland Railway leaves the uh, the Midland Old Road that this 
follow this line this goes right back past my house um, what we've also got is that we've also got um, the Great Central Railway, a disused railway, we kind of skirt along and we'll, we've got something to see further up the canal um, about that. And stay tuned because we've also got um, an old disused canal tunnel um, that we're going to go and uh, have a look at, see if we can find any, uh, any remains of that. I don't think there's much left but there's a couple of interesting things to see so uh, we'll see that a bit further, a few miles down the canal. got a bit of a split here so it invites cyclists to take the path on the left which is actually the, uh, it's the old disused Great Central Railway but we're gonna stick up we're gonna stick up on the uh, on the canal tow path it's a little bit more it's a little prettier so we're just coming into a uh, Blue Bank Pools Nature Reserve. So, this is a really nice section. This. Excuse me, thank you. So we've got Wielden Mill Lock. That's the second lock that we've uh, that we've, we've come across. So we've just got uh, we've just got the uh, the village of Whittington off to our uh, our left hand side. Halfway there. Blue Bank Lock. I'm just on my first snack stop of the day. A quick bar of saurine. Just coming up to another lock that's uh, Dixon's lock this one and uh, I've actually lost count uh, I don't know how many locks that is now a um, bit like the five weirs I did last week I think I lost count after three weirs I should point out I have got a uh, an engineering degree that did involve uh, advanced mathematics so the uh, inability to count 
is uh, seems to be a recent thing. So we're just coming into Hollingwood um, now. See the, the houses on the, on the right hand side, and we've still got the Great Central uh, Railway, the Chesterfield Loop, on our, on our left hand side. Um, so we're going to be coming in a minute to where, to where the visitor centre is. So I was just having a scout around the uh, around the lock on the top of the banking at the, at the top of the old railway bridge and I really didn't know that this was here but of uh, the old platforms from the, the Staveley workstation so the station itself went over the top of the bridge to the other side of the canal that we're gonna go and, uh, and pass underneath now So this uh, this part of the canal past uh, past Hollingwood Hub and the station was uh, was only uh, built in uh, in about 1892. So um, it was diverted when the railways came. So we can see a little bit of the old canal in a minute um, that went off uh, in that direction. So uh, so there's the former route of the canal went straight on there through there. There's there's nothing left of that now and it's now an industrial um, industrial land. Um, but the new 1892 route we've just come down that path there and that just goes underneath the railway station past that um, past the coffee shop that we've just walked past so i'm on the lookout now for this um this old canal tunnel so it was hollingwood common canal tunnel and it went off about one and three quarter miles in that direction underneath ringwood hall out to uh, to westwood and it was to bring out coal from, uh, from the collieries at that end and the, the coal would be loaded underground and um, and kind of brought out to the surface here and then it'd be loaded onto the uh, onto the canal boats on the Chesterfield Canal it was a really small tunnel I think it was uh, only about six foot high and less than six foot wide and uh, really really small boats as well we don't actually know when that um, when that underground tunnel actually closed though we think the suggestion is that it was closed when when the canal was diverted but I'm not actually seeing the opening to it I think it's there it's a bit 
and it's a bit overgrown now. I know you can't get access to it from the other side of the canal, but through the trees there, this is where it says on the map, through the trees there I can see the, the fencing. So I put up some photographs anyway from the, the uh, Chesterfield Canal Trust website. But um, well, let's go and have a look, see if we can uh, find that air shaft that's just the other side of the road. So here's an old sketch of the route of the tunnel. I've just circled where we are at the moment. Uh, and here's another old map showing, um, showing the location of the shaft that we're looking for at the moment. And here's a, a Google Maps image. Um, so I've just put an arrow point into um, to where we believe the shaft is. I'm just off into the uh, into the scrubland uh, just by uh, by Hollingwood just to try and find one of these air shafts. It is a bit overgrown in place. So I don't know if I'll make it to the uh, to the shaft. I think it looks like it's kind of fenced off anyway. Another one of those times I wish I had trousers on. Ah, it's ripping. Things I do to see a shaft. Here we go, here is the uh, here's one of the shafts from the old canal tunnel. So if you look on old maps going back 100 years, you can you can still see these maps on the old Ordnance Survey maps, but how many of those are left today, I'm really not sure. I don't know if this is the only one or not. It's a shame you can't. See the fence is in the way. It's, I'm not sure if that's worth the 120 thorns that I've now got stuck in my leg though. But now that was interesting to see. Um, I don't actually know when that tunnel um, was uh, was constructed, but that what we've just been looking at there, that could be up to 250 years old. If that if that canal was uh, built the same time as the Chesterfield Canal. Today was the four mile marker, so that first signpost that we passed uh, back in Chesterfield that said uh, Stavely four miles, I think that was a bit bit out. Uh, we've still got a bit to go to Stavely, probably at least another half a mile, if not more, to uh, to the to, um, Stavely Town Basin. But at least the rain's all held off anyway. four and three quarter of a mile to Chesterfield and five miles back to Rother Valley and that's where we're that's where we're going so I'll, uh, I'll take that five miles with a pinch of salt to be honest I think it's about five and a half six for me but we're at Mill Green uh, Bridge now so a lovely bridge this I love this bridge So this is, uh, we're just coming into Stavely. Someone's lost a lawnmower. So I've got some photos of, uh, again off the Chesterfield uh, Canal Trust website of them uh, rebuilding this bridge. So this last half a mile or so of canal is uh, it's fairly it's fairly new. It's only recently been reconstructed. Um, some of it on a slightly different path to the original canal. Um, I was saying earlier about the uh, the closing the gap. So when we looked at the missing sections, um, which we're just coming up to the start of now, um, since I did those videos a couple of months ago, they've actually got the green light now to start expanding the extending that that first missing section. So. Um, they're going to be uh, got sort of taking it from Rennishaw, uh, sorry, from Stavely just up to Rennishaw, just before Rennishaw. Um, so that's the first step in obviously sort of closing that nine mile gap that's there at the moment.
we are at the end so this is as far as you can go on a boat um, all two boats that they've got on this section um, obviously because it's kind of landlocked I suppose you could say um, you can't sail here so those boats are a fairly recent addition as well so they've actually dammed it off here uh, and this is the exact spot where we uh, where we started our last videos of uh, looking at the missing section of Chesterfield Canal so this is kind of a prequel to those videos well, I'll just show you around here because there is a little bit of canal that's been built and it was it was uh, it's got water in but it's like, kind of closed off they, they completed that about four or five years ago but anyway hopefully in a couple of years time even uh, the, uh, if they make sort of swift progress then uh, we'll be able to follow it all the way to uh, to any shore but as we saw on those uh, on video I think it was part part one of those videos we've got quite a lot of work to do to get up near any shore there's quite a lot of uh, I think they've got to put a new bridge in over the river Dowley as well so we'll keep an eye on that so uh, that's as far as we're going today so uh, i'll leave you there so i'll catch up with you uh, on another exploring video uh, soon so thank you and take care um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, and also uh, go and have a look at my uh, my facebook page because i do put some uh, additional pictures on there as well so i'll just leave you with uh, a few uh, shots of um, of them rebuilding the canal over the last uh, few years mm -hmm.